Jones, and one man that wishes the Jaguars were here for sure is Mark Brunel. Welcome into the show. Thanks, Thanks for being for here me. with Good us. To see everybody. Yeah. You too, man. My old teammate Walmart there. Walmart teammate. Yeah. yeah. The Jets. Yeah, I'm still a little salty, Mark. It was uh, a long time ago. 1996. TV. I'm still a little salty about you guys walking into the Mile High Stadium and beating us, man. You messed up my three peat. That's all I'm gonna say. Well, you, you, got, you, you got you got two. You're gonna be okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't have any, so stop complaining. I'm just you know I'm selfish. I've only got one. Well, this was the best Jaguars team we've seen since that era that you guys are talking about and watching that AFC championship game and having them in the lead and so close what do you think will it take for next year for them to be able to get past a team like the Patriots yeah it's not it's it's not easy when you face the the Patriots and uh, um, the football team's gonna have to get better defense was remarkable this year uh, I thought Blake Bortles did a, did a better job. We led the league in rushing, which is where it all begins. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a good football team, but still needs to take that next step. Um, the good thing about the Jaguars is 3-13 uh, and 13 last year to the AFC Championship game. Uh, I don't think they're a, a one-hit wonder. I expect this team to really be pretty solid for the next three or four years. A good core group of leaders, some talented players, um, but taking that next step uh, is difficult, especially if Tom Brady's still in the league, Ben Roethlisberger's still in the league, guys that, that play at that at level, but, uh, you know, who knows? We'll see, but, but the, uh, you know, all things uh, are good for the Jaguars right now. It's a great season. Now, speaking of Blake Bortles. Yes. Blake Bortles is really the, he's the topic of conversation mm -hmm. here. I believe he has that $19 million option that's probably due that's coming up. Um, question, is Blake, I mean, he, can he be the quarterback of the future? <laughs> It's a very good question. Uh, I think he can. Okay. And uh, Blake uh, made tremendous strides uh, this year. Listen, he won 12 games. Winning 12 games as a starting quarterback in the NFL, it's not an easy thing to do. His best football was saved for the end. His last two games in the, in the playoffs against the Steelers and against the Patriots, he played very, very well. Made good decisions with the ball. Uh, made some nice throws. Ran the ball a little bit. Moved his team and scored some points. And so I think he's earned the right to be a Jaguar for another year. Uh, to get that one-year extension, I think that's a no-brainer. I, I really do. And uh, hes I think he's only going to get better. Uh, he's a hard-working kid. It's important to him. He wants to be great. And those are qualities you look for in a starting quarterback. Do they need to bring in competition uh, to compete with Blake? But that's always the question. Listen, competition is, is always good. Um, but not everybody responds to competition very well. Let's say Blake Bortles is in place. They bring a first-rounder. How does he react to that? That could be interesting. I don't know. I think that I think he would be just fine understanding that it, it's his job, and that's exactly if the if the Jaguars drafted a, a, a quarterback early, they'd say, "Listen, Blake, this is your job. You're our guy." But in the back of every quarterback's mind, you think you're thinking, "Listen, if I don't produce, if I don't win, this guy right yeah. here, he's going to be or the even guy." If you so win, it just happened to Alex Smith. Ex mm -hmm. Exactly. You win. They got the quarterback. So and you guys, that's it is a tough, crazy that's business. A tough um, I think. Um, Listen, I think they'll draft a quarterback, whether it's early or late. It's always good to add some depth at that position. But um, I thought Blake did a great job. And, again, has earned the right to be the quarterback for next year. And we'll see. Leonard Fournette, one of the best running backs in the NFL this year, and a young guy with a lot of potential. How do you think he can help also Blake Bortles in this offense move forward and grow together? Well, a quarterback's best friend is good running back, you know, <laughs> honestly. Yeah. It really it really is. And especially with your, when you're a young guy and you're not very experienced, to have that running game, uh, to have an offensive line that will establish the line of scrimmage, and a guy, a tough, physical, hard-nosed guy that will get you those extra yards, that is who Leonard Fournette was for Blake Bortles. I think the kid's only going to get better. Uh, what's important is that he's going to have to have a great offseason, stay healthy, keep working. Um, he had an incredible year this year. But uh, he's not done. He's got to work. You guys know better than anybody. You have to keep working and do. keep working on getting better. So I think he's the key for, for that offense because Doug Marone, uh, Tom Coughlin, it's old school, um, yeah. smash mouth, right. physical. They are going to run the football, and having Leonard Fournette there makes all the difference in the world. Speaking of Tom Coughlin, your coach back in That's the right. day, right? He's back in the building. How much credit do we need to give Tom Coughlin for what's transpiring down there? It, it starts with Tom. Okay. Um, immediately when, when Tom was hired by the, by the Jaguars, you knew exactly what the culture was going to be like. There was no question. And the fact that he and Doug Marone, uh, you know, have the same philosophy, same old school, hard-nosed philosophy, um, they're a very a, a, a good match. But, but uh, training camp was very physical. Uh, they were on the field as long as they could be. 
They were in pads. They hit. It was demanding, and that's just what Tom's going to do. And that's what happened in the first go-around with the Jaguars. We got after it in training camp. Um, that's what they did uh, this year with the Jaguars. A and they won. And I think that's how you do it. And there's different styles and philosophies. I get it. But Tom Coughlin, when you know he's in, if he's in charge, yeah. you're going to work. And you may not work. like it. Yeah. You're going to work. You're going to be a disciplined team. Expectations are going to be really high. And, uh, and that's a good thing. So. Well, a lot of people giving credit to, to Doug Marone as yes. coach of the yeah. year. We'll find yeah. out that in just a bit if he wins it. But certainly a candidate.